Hi everyone, it's me, Miss France, the art teacher, and today we're going to do another easy optical illusion. Now, this one is going to be super easy and it's going to look like you're going down into a square pit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pin my video of my other camera. All right, so, hmm. On camera, it looks like I need to make this one a little darker. Let me go ahead and do that right now so that you guys can see it a little better. There we go. We have the optical illusion looking a little better on camera. All right. So now we just got on the need a paper, pencil, and the warm colors, red, orange, yellow, plus black. All right, so first things first, with your pencil, you're gonna make a square on your paper. Now I'm drawing a little darker than I normally would to make sure you guys can see the square. Next, you're gonna draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other, making it into two triangles. Now we're going to put some squares on the inside. And actually, let me turn it this way. So it'll look like the one I'm doing right now. All right, that looks better on the screen. So now what we're going to do to make squares, we're going to make some L's. And let's see. Come down to the line where the diagonal line is, and then go over for the L. Let me turn my paper a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. So then I'm going to scoot over a little bit. I'll turn my paper so that my hand is not in the way. And then make another L. Let's see, that's three. Then four. Then five. And six. So now we have six L's, which actually help us to make six squares. And you can see it already looks like it's coming down already. But let's add some color. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our, our marker, or if you have crayon, you're just going to trace the outside line of the square. Now, I'm going to turn my paper so that my hand is not in the way as I'm tracing. Now notice I'm tracing with the point of the marker. Let me bring it down some, my camera. All right, so now when you trace these inside L's, you wanna use the thick side of the marker or trace it twice. So I'll show you, I'll do the first one twice. So I trace it, then I trace it again. So that's one way, or you could just use the thick side of the marker and you'll get the same effect of a thick line. So on the inside, you want these L's to be thicker than the outside line. There we go. As you can see, it's coming along. So now that we have our lines to help create that optical illusion, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can feel, get that feel that is coming down and then we got the, like, this corner here. We're gonna color the smallest square black. That's gonna be our bottom. So I'm just gonna fill that in with a few lines. And now I'm gonna work my way with my warm colors and I'm gonna go lightest, I mean darkest to lightest. So my last, space and I'm gonna skip a space. So we're gonna have some white space in between. So I'm gonna skip a space. And now in this space here, again, I'm gonna keep turning my paper so that my hand is not in the way. So then my next color is orange. 
And again, I like to do lines because then you don't end up with all that scratchy looking surface. And then we have my lighted, my, my warm colors, red, orange, yellow, and it's going from darkest to lightest, with black being our darkest spot. Now you can pick which side you want. Now on this one, I colored in darkest, and with my pencil, I shaded, um, gave it a dark value, then it got a little lighter with my pressure on the pencil, and then my lightest. Now, if you want, you can put it on this side. It's up to you which way you want it to look. See, uh, if I'm looking that way or this way. I think on this one, I'll go ahead and color this side. So now I'm just gonna color in with my pencil and color in kind of heavy or press down hard so I get a darker tone for value. Now this time I'm gonna color a little lighter. I'm not gonna press down as hard. And then I'm really gonna do it lightly here. Now on my colors, I could go ahead and lightly add in a little bit of pencil and then a little pressure here help give that, uh, make these a little shaded too. And then color a little heavier on my darkest as I get lower. And there you go. A super quick optical illusion. All right, so now let me unpin my video. Let's see where we are we pin. And pin me. So everyone, that was a quick optical illusion. Ooh. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.